Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to disable the recommended section in the new Windows 11 25H2 start menu. So if you click on start and you notice you have this new start menu with the categories here that you could do things such as change to grid, which kind of puts them in alphabetical order, or you could change it to list, which kind of lists everything all in one place since we don't have an all button up here any longer, which is not necessarily a good thing. And then you could also do things such as show all or less of your pinned apps but you might have noticed in the middle here there's a recommended section which will show you recent files you've opened and recent apps you've installed and also some recommended apps so it should be technically called recommended and recent but they just call it recommended so if you don't want this section here it's very easy to disable so we're going to show you how to do that today so this will be a really quick video all right so while we're here we're going to click on settings and if you don't have a settings icon you can just type in settings in the search box here to open it. All right, then we're going to go to personalization and go down to start. And then from here, you could disable all or some of these sections here. So if you don't want to see recently added apps, but you want to see everything else, you can turn this off. And then if you don't want to see the recommended files, then you could turn this off here. And then any tips, you could turn this off here as well. Most people like to turn everything off because they don't want to see recommendations of any kind. All right, so once those are turned off, you don't need to reboot or anything. Now we go back to start. We just have the pinned and the all section. So pretty simple. And then, of course, if you want to turn them back on, just come here, turn them on. But you might notice that there's nothing here until you start opening some files. Then we'll start adding them back. It's not necessarily going to put the original recommended files and apps that were there before you disabled it back in place. All right, so once again, settings, personalization, start, and then turn whichever ones of these you don't want to use off, or most likely all of them, and that's all you got to do. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.